Hey, welcome to the podcast that's been named one of the best in marketing research. This is Research Business Daily Report, and we're made possible by RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash RBDR. I am Bob Lederer, for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. Today on our series, Market Research in the COVID-19 Era, this is episode 30, and it features expert executive recruiter Karen Morgan. She's the founder and CEO of Morgan Search International, and she concedes that the market for hiring research talent may be somewhat limited at present. However, she's encouraging anyone who is potentially interested in making a job switch to start considering companies they would prefer to work for, and as well, others that they would consider if the opportunity came. Karen also has a handful of suggestions for companies which might be looking to hire top research talent once the overall marketplace returns to some state of normalcy. Karen? Thank you, Bob, for having me today. Um, I know this is a really difficult time for everyone, and we're all just (laughs) essentially trying to navigate through um, this crazy situation. So I hope I can share a few helpful insights with you today. First of all, now's a great time to dust off your resume, whatever your situation. If you've been thinking about a change, I recommend really committing time now to think through your goals and the kinds of companies and opportunities you'd like to pursue so you can focus in on finding the best fit when the market rebounds. As I'm sure you know, many companies aren't actively hiring. However, many we're speaking with are telling us they still want to talk to people, they still want to keep a pipeline going. So they're really open to talking with potential hires, given how tight the talent market has been the last few years. So you have nothing to lose. So don't be afraid to reach out to companies, your network, your recruiter for exploratory informational conversations. If you've been laid off, I'm so sorry if you have, obviously you're already sprucing up your online profile and resume, or if you're not, you need to reaching out to your network and making yourself visible and alerting people that you're available. Now, I know this is a time, uh, of course you're anxious, um, but don't be afraid or hesitant about getting in touch with everyone and anyone. People want to help, especially now. I do feel the big difference so far between the financial crisis of 2008 and today is companies' demonstration of empathy and commitment to trying to keep their employees and opting for furloughs and pay cuts over layoffs. But companies are laying people off, sadly. And in this case, it's crucial that they give employees as much of a cushion as possible in terms of maintaining benefits for a period of time, providing severance, in short, anything that will help candidates not fall off a financial or psychological cliff. I feel so it's so important that this is a moment where companies will really demonstrate who they are. We've spoken so much in the past decade about culture, 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 and most of this has centered around valuing employees. So now is the time where companies will demonstrate how committed they really are to their people. Just last year, you may remember the Business Roundtable, a group composed of the nation's leading CEOs, announced that its members, and I quote, share a fundamental commitment to all of our stakeholders, each of whom is essential. Now, one of the reasons the companies will be forced to lay off employees is because the large profits they were sitting on after being bailed out in the financial crisis went to shareholders, not stakeholders. So let CEOs live up to their pledge and demonstrate a real commitment to their employees and not leave anyone out in the cold without financial or emotional support from their employer. 
I'd like to see more CEOs take significant pay cuts to save jobs. And here's a final thought. It may sound counterintuitive, but I think companies might consider rethinking and streamlining their interviewing process now, in spite of a buoyant employment market over the past few years, both employers and employees have expressed much frustration to me and my team. Candidates have complained about the length of the interview process and employers about how very hard it is to find talent. I hope we can all learn from the financial crisis. When companies didn't rehire as many people as before the crisis, this led to unrealistic expectations in candidate skills and positions open for months. This in turn caused understaffing and burnout, never a good thing. In the current crisis, where there is potentially more talent available, there still needs to be a corporate reassessment of skills expectations moving forward. This needs to be accompanied by a more efficient interview process. I would suggest that employers focus on being open-minded, flexible in their approach, considering both soft and hard skills and a real commitment to training so they can hire people opportunistically rather than just filling a job. Even with a slow recovery, which sadly is looking more and more likely, this approach will benefit companies, especially as the market heats up. This special series from RBDR is researchers only daily presentation of life in the middle of the research business during this ongoing coronavirus crisis. But it can't be maintained unless we have your input. So please collect your thoughts about what you see going on in the research industry. It can be personal and or professional. And then think about partnering with us. Email your idea to rflbob at gmail.com or even give me a call. We'll work with you to prepare that personal perspective of yours. And we tell you that the output that we will help you do will make you and your business proud. That's your Research Business Daily Report. It's been made possible by our exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash rbdr. Large number of research executives, of course, follow us. However, we've always got room for more. And if you agree that watching RBDR is time well spent, well, you can help us by recommending our daily video to friends and peers in the industry, maybe even some friendly competitors. And because every business has to have a funding base, well, we also encourage you to become what we call a Patreon supporter. You may have heard that term before. Patreon.com is a place that enables everyone who enjoys RBDR to make a monthly donation of any size that you find worthwhile and workable. And that can assure RBDR's continued existence. So please visit Patreon.com forward slash RBDR and join our list of supporters. This series is going to continue. Monday through Thursday, most weeks for the foreseeable future, especially because the coronavirus doesn't look like it is going to be departing us anytime soon. Have a great research day, and we'll look forward to seeing you back with us here tomorrow.